Hey guys, it's Kate and today I'll be teaching you how to make an easy American Girl doll bed. So, this is just like my wardrobe one. I've had lots, I've made these a long, like a lot, lots of them. And I've had this, I've used this technique a lot of times. But I've never really bothered to really thought of sharing it with you guys. So I'll be sharing you this technique today. So as you can see, this is a Grace themed bed. And you can tell because it has Grace stuff and everything and her colors she usually has a bed it does fit the American Girl dolls perfectly as you can see and at the end of this video I will also be sharing you guys how to make another easy one too so these materials that you're going to need are really like they're like all my crafts that I find is just stuff around the house that I make stuff for my American Girl dolls so I'm pretty sure you have most of them or all of them so yeah let's get to it and if any of you guys are wondering this is not Grace's room it's not this plane or anything this is just where I'm gonna be crafting so the first thing that you'll need for this project is obviously your doll so I'll just mm, just pick Samantha here so you need your doll for measurements and so you make sure it fits the doll so the next thing that you'll need is obviously tape but if you don't have tape then you can just use I guess um, glue I would 100% recommend glue but I don't have any glue at the moment I use that all on my flower crown tutorial so I'm gonna be using tape and the last thing that you'll need are doll boxes I have gigantic bags of them there are like Lots of doll boxes in here and in here for my Grace haul that I never really filmed. So, yeah, you're gonna need a lot of doll boxes. You'll be needing scissors, computer paper or newspaper, but I don't have any newspaper, so I'm going to be using computer paper. And then you're gonna need your paint supplies. So I think those are all of your materials that you'll be needing, besides your doll bedding or whatever, because that's your thing like your choice or whatever so yeah let's get to it oh yeah and if you don't have any of these doll boxes or anything if you don't have any doll boxes you can just use your doll box like the box that your doll comes in Maybe two of these narrow ones and two of these big ones you're first going to want to start by taking your two boxes and make sure that all of your boxes are like all cleaned out from this so I forgot to clean mine out, so clean those out. And you're gonna be wanting to take this. I didn't clean out any of these. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna take these two boxes and tape them together like this. Or glue them or whatever. Now if you're using a doll box, like a <laughs> if you're gonna be using a doll like bed, like bleh doll box, the ones that the, bo the dolls come in, you're just going to need that and one of these narrow ones. But since I'm making them all out of my doll boxes boxes, like these clothing boxes or accessory boxes, then you're going to need these. So what I did right now was I taped these two boxes, not them, these two boxes together and then I also taped this one, the narrow box, together to make this long doll bed and it shall and not shall it should it should fit your doll like if you line it up here it should fit your doll like this you know it's fitting your doll it should if it isn't then i don't know how i would make it longer because so far after i've done all these crafts they have fit my doll so and after this, you're going to want to take this box, the other narrow box, and tape it not up here, because if you tape it up here, you're going to take away space from your doll. You're going to tape it back here, like this. And this will create the like little shelf kind of thing, and kind of create a headrest. So tape it like this. Okay, so I finished gluing on, no, you could glue this all together, but I finished taping on the headboard. And then, just a side note, if you're wondering, 
or if you are going to have like this bed going to is going to be through rough rough play then I would recommend before you tape all these together put inside the doll boxes since I can't demonstrate on this box I'll get another box if pretend this is like your box that you're gonna use for the bed pretend you would um I would personally just to make it like a little bit easier and so it won't break because this is a little bit of a gentle bed I use it for stop motions because I'm not gonna be like throwing my dolls on it or whatever or tearing it apart so I would put in like stacks of cardboard or bars like cardboard here cardboard here cardboard here to make it a little bit more sturdier so like so this doesn't happen if I fold it all up pretending this is my doll bed or whatever and then like my doll like there crashes it or whatever and just goes like that's not a good doll bed it has a dent in it same with Heather's hair it's all messed up but <laughs> yeah you wouldn't want that happening so if you want to make it a little bit more sturdier I definitely recommend putting cardboard in it so yeah just a little bit of a side note so now you're going to coat this all in computer paper or you could instead of painting it and then like I'm going to be putting on computer paper and then painting it but if you want to just put on construction paper and get the painting over with then you won't need sorry you won't need paint but if you want to add a little bit of extra detail like what I did to this gray spread over here ah poster fell like this like if you want to do this little thing like here this is where the doll box is this is where this is so but if you want to do like a, this thing then you might want to do this use um like a box like this and just cut out the bottom piece of it whoa you cannot see just cut out this piece of it, this bottom piece. Everything else goes away. So you get like a flat piece of paperboard. Then you can see all the magic happen behind here. Then you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to coat it with paper, obviously, or tape it like what I did, or glue it, and then paint it. Then you have a bit of a headboard. And then all what I did for extra detailing was put in these little things so it won't fall off the edge here or just as the little divider here too. So that's if you want to do a little bit of a detailed headboarding. So yeah, but all what I'm going to be doing is just a little bit of a, not a detailed one, just a simple, simple headboard. So I am now going to coat this whole entire thing in white computer paper. You don't really have to do the bottom of the bed because obviously that's going to be on the ground. Or like this. See, this is Grace's bed. This is without the bedding. I tried painting all of it, but this didn't end up going well. So that's why you have a doll mattress to cover the whole entire thing up. But yeah, and as you can say, see, not say, as you can see, this has been through rough play, and I didn't stabilize it, so that's why there's some dents, a dent in here or whatever, so. So I am done with coating just this part of it because when I paint I just want it to go smoothly across the edges instead of getting in there between all the boxes and everything. So now I'm just going to paint it and then you'll be pretty much done after it dries. So I'm going to be painting it and then letting it dry.
so the bed is now all dry. I didn't need to paint here because I'm obviously going to be putting on the mattress, but I made it green because it's going to be for my doll, Natalie. And she's like an adventurous, outgoing person. And I thought green is also her favorite color, so I made her bed green. <laughs> so now I'm going to be putting on the bedding and that's pretty much it. I might maybe put some stuff since you can't really see it from up here but I might put some stuff up on top of here for decoration but yeah I didn't also need a paint in the back here because it's obviously going to be put up against the wall so that's how you make an easy American Girl doll bed now if you were doing it with the box here's one that I made with a box like a doll box so you can obviously see this one's a lot more taller because I used the doll box. And this is my doll, her Sandra's bed. How you make the bed frames is just that's this is just stacked cardboard, put in wrapped in computer paper with paint, and I drew these like little dots here, and I put on an EG Star logo. And then for like the mattress part, this is just tissue paper taped on there. Yeah. And that's how you make easy. <laughs> and that's how you make easy doll beds. So if you have any questions or just want to comment, comment down below. And these are both really easy. I mean, you could probably even make a backboard on this one if you wanted to. Like maybe you make a one of these boxes put it there but yeah I make lots of these and I'm really I was really really happy to share it with you thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time